So you guys have been doing really well. You need a little bit more growth from me. You need another couple of centimeters like so um, before I can put you in the goal. Like you're doing really well and you're doing really well and you're doing really well and you're doing super well. But we've always put more in the ground. We're going to put in a little bit of um, fertilizer. It's 100% natural and organic and it enriches the soil and gives you a slow release. Oh, hey guys. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Money, and you've caught me in the middle of story time with um, this year's seed potatoes. But um, why don't you join me? Come along. Hey guys, so like I said in the intro, we are talking all things seed potatoes and fertilizing them, chitting them. Yes, I said chitting, I know it's a weird word. And that's really what today's video is about. Um, my one of my daughters <laughs> came up to me and said, The potatoes look really weird, what are you doing to them? And I said, I'm chitting them, and she thought I said something weird, and I said, No, I'm chitting them. So say it with me, chit. Chit, chit, chit. To chit or not to chit? That's today's question. Right, let's start at the start, shall we? I've made notes, so if I look in that direction, I'm reading my notes, so bear with. Right, to chit, it means to sprout your seed potatoes by arranging them eye up in a tray or an old egg box and put them in a cool dry place um, away from frost so a windowsill obviously and then um, and remember to label them so you know which variety is which and um, chitin allows them to have um, a bit of a head start so once you've chosen your variety for the year uh, because there are a number of different varieties out there once you've decided which ones you want put them in an egg box and leave them somewhere cool and dry. This year I'm starting on well, growing Pentland Javelin. Stick that label back in there. And on this side is Maris Piper. So these will be ready to plant um, when the sprouts reach about two centimeters. Mm, that's not quite two centimeters yet. I don't think. Um, and normally that takes about four to six weeks. Now I purchased these back in late January. So soon, the next couple of weeks, these will be able to be planted out in your grow bags out in the garden. Now, it's not essential that you chit <laughs> the potatoes, but it does give them a better head start. And it, I'm told, I've researched that if you do chit them, it gives you like a bigger and better harvest and slightly earlier. And we want to eat these as soon as possible. So I'm going to go down the chitting route and once they are ready to harvest, we'll see what the results are. Doing the chitting. <laughs> Why does that sound so weird? Anyway, as we move, we're going to talk about fertilising. Now, I picked this up at my local Wilco. And uh, potatoes are heavy feeders. So it's good to sort of pre-fertilise your soil now I'm using grow bags but if you've got you know tubs other kind of potatoes or if you've got an allotment the area in which you're going to put your potatoes into you know drop a scoop of this into the soil a couple of weeks ahead of putting in your seed potatoes mine have still got a little ways to go I'm going to give this another couple of weeks 
so maybe until it reaches about here and then we're going to put them into the grow bags outside um, so hey guys welcome back sorry the camera died but we're back where was i okay i'm gonna start with which two varieties i'm growing this year um they are Pentland Javelin and Maris Peels. These are first early, these are second earlies. Now, the Pentland Javelin, that just means the length of time they'll be in the ground. These will be in the ground for about 10 to 12 weeks, and these will be in the ground for about 14 to 16 weeks. That's really the main difference between first and second early, is just the length of time that they're in the ground. But they're going in at the same time, because I bought these back in the end of January, and I had them in the kitchen, on the windowsill, and they're chitting away nicely. They need a little bit more growth on them. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks, that will bring us to the beginning of March, these should be at the right size to kind of go in the bag. Now, fertilising. Volca, here we are again. Potatoes, as we all know, are root vegetables, but they are really heavy feeders. So this week, um, just ahead of these guys going into their grow bags, I'm going to start prepping their grow bags. And I put a scoop of fertilizer in each bag and just prepare the soil for them to ensure that when they go in they're off to the best start possible. You want to look for a fertilizer that is, let me just double check, a fertilizer that is high in potassium and phosphate, phosphate that's how you say that. Um, because they're such heavy feeders so you want to look out for that kind of fertilizer thankfully you know this will do it all for you you know as it says on the tin they say um, nitrogen just will encourage foliage and all the greenery which is great if that's what you're looking for but we want nice big succulent juicy potatoes so ensure you pick up one that has high potassium and high phosphate because it would be beneficial for the growth so we are going to wrap this video up but check back in a couple of weeks when these seed potatoes go into the ground with some fertilizer and then we're going to feed them again in two weeks time and then hopefully come June, July, we're going to see what kind of harvest we have. But that's all for this week, guys. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for the support. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, thank you. See you soon. Bye.